So you tell me one thing. According to the report, listen carefully, please don't shout. According to the FIR which police has lodged, earlier they said 12 persons, later they said 17 persons, which is written in the FIR. You can see the FIR. Yes, yes, so. And five unknown persons. Yes. So together how many people? 17 in 5, 22 people. There were more than 100 policemen standing there. I ask you a question. If chief minister is passing by that road, will 22 people will be allowed to gather there with black flags in the presence of, of more than 100 policemen? Then who is, who is... I have very high opinion of the Kerala police. I have been... I have already said... I have been minister in charge of police division in the central government. And I consider Kerala police one of the finest police in the country. Who is stopping them from doing their duty? Who can stop them? It is only the political executive. Who is the head of the political executive? It is chief minister. So who else will be, whom, whom else you will hold responsible for this? Tell me, you tell me. Sir, is it because there is political interference that the police is not acting according to whatever... I am 100% convinced, I have already told you that Kerala police is one of the finest police in the country. They are not being allowed to work. And we all know, you know, you know very well, kind of pressure which they had brought on me to reappoint the Kannur University Vice Chancellor. What I had written on the file, uh, because they brought the opinion of the Advocate General, therefore I said I am agreeing to appoint, but I still hold it is illegal. And what I wrote on the file was upheld by the Honorable Supreme Court. So they are used to, I, I will tell you one more thing. Are, are you not aware of the instances yes, yes, we where somebody left the party and that senior leader of Kannur, was subjected to physical beating inside the assembly. They are used to violence, but they have made a wrong assessment about me that they can pressurize me. I am not one who can be bullied. I am not going to be bullied. I am ready, I have already said. Now I am more than 72 years old. I have already lived the national average. I am living now on borrowed times. Therefore, if when I was just 35 years old and attacks were being made on me, I was not scared. And I have, I'm repeating it again. My ideal is Swami Vivekananda. And Swami Vivekananda has said, face the brutes, face the terrible. If you are firm, then like monkeys, they will disappear. Did you lost trust in police now? That's why CRPF. I'm not, uh, th there is no, I have not asked for anything. I have not asked for anything. I have not, I have not said, I am rather praising Kerala police. I have not said, I have, no, no, this is for the central government to decide. I did not, I did, I, I never, never, never ask for security, for protection. Remember, do not forget that in 87, after VP Singh's phenomena was started, our security was withdrawn, and that was the time when attacks were being made on me. Even then, I was not unnerved. I never asked for additional security. It is central government's own decision. Sir, have you talked to the central home minister and uh, told him about whatever has happened? This no, the, my duty is, which, I, which naturally, when I'm sitting there in a remote area where even phone is not working, but my duty is to inform the central government, and I call the Raj Bhavan to inform them that something has happened. But personally, I have not been able so to. Is it because CPM the political saying. bosses, as you say, are not allowing Kerala police to function properly, that, uh, that the central government was forced to send the CRPF personnel to give you protection? Well, it is for you to interpret it, and uh, clearly, uh, they feel. Clearly, one can, one can interpret it in this way. I'm not saying it. That it is lack of confidence in the, in the state government. 
because they have, you know, for, on 24th, they had almost, they had almost, more than a mob of 100, they had almost attacked my car. But it was very close to the station. Therefore, I, I said, okay, whatever has happened, has happened. In Alipi on 23rd, about 20, 30 people or 40 people, they attacked my car. I, uh, I, have, I have told you several times that if they, if they do something from a distance, I do not mind. But if they, they will do something, they will come near my car or they will do something to hit the car, then instead of getting my car damaged, I would like them to hit me. But I'm ready to be hit. People today say, student, that's not happening. People, SFA workers not hitting your car. Ah, they are, they, they were not. They yes. have not uh, touched your car. This that is, is what they They say. have. I got down only when something hit the, the glass on my side. Stone. Either it, uh, no, my feeling is it was not a stone. My feeling is it was the rod which was used to carry the black flag. They have thrown it at the at the at the glass. Oh. Then only I got down. Okay. Acha, tell me in Tirvendram, tell me that day when I was going to airport, at how many places they had they had attacked the car? Four. In how many places action was taken? Only when I got down from the car, in that case action was taken. All other three places they did not take any action. Sorry. They did not take any action in Palakkad. They did not take any action in Alipi. Only when I get down from the car, and I am asking you whether they hit or they did not hit. If chief minister is traveling on the same road, will they allow th uh, uh, 17 people with black flag standing with about 100 policemen? Will they allow? Uh, Minister the CPL the protest is usual. For, uh, two they are two set of rules? For two people who are heading the government here. Huh. They say. No, I am asking you, sir. Does it mean that if the chief minister? No, 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 no. Some people feel when, when unfortunately, power goes to your head, then you think that you are above the law. That seems to be the case, as far as my feeling is concerned. That you are holding the, uh, you are dressed with with authority for a brief period of time. Democracy does not make me the ultimate arbiter, ultimate arbiter are the common people of this country. And I have been saying it again and again that so many things are happening. The Kannur case, I have not given the judgment. They are upset with me. Why I have written that on the file, which has been used by the Honorable Supreme Court to unseat the Kannur vice chancellor. And even now, I can, when I come back, I will share with you the letters, and I have written to the Chief Minister that you seem not to have read the judgment of the Honorable Supreme Court. You are still trying to interfere in the matters of the university. This is contempt of the court. 